Hello and welcome back to Raccoon Justice, where justice done the raccoon way is the only way to do justice. Thank you so much for joining me yet again today. Please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and if you are new, welcome. So, I had big plans for today, but these twats decided not to upload. <laughs> And why didn't they upload? I waited ages. Chris and Sarah, come on. I waited and waited and waited. I refreshed the page all night. And what did you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Shall we find out why you did nothing? And why it, you know, your job doesn't really matter that much to you anymore? Penny, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> No filter here, guys. Indeed, Sarah, indeed. But that's not what we're asking, is it? It's not what we're waiting for, is it? We're not, we don't really care whether or not you're wearing a filter or not right now. Who cares? from far and near. I fam, I'm so sorry. Has this even ever happened before? I think it may have done like maybe once or twice. Sarah, it happens once or twice a week. What are you on about? How the hell can you forget? It's your bloody job. Is it not your job? To upload is literally the only thing that you do is upload to YouTube. It's your job. Who forgets? Jace, put all that back, sweetheart. Put, I don't want it. No, you have to. Put put it back and put the lid back on. Um, We forgot about the vlog. We've obviously been celebrating Mila's first birthday. We've had an amazing day. We've been celebrating, reminiscing, playing looking at old, at old pictures and we've just had a really lovely day but we forgot about the vlog chris came to me about 15 minutes ago and said oh my gosh quarter past day at the vlog i'm not being funny sarah but if if chris has come to you at quarter past eight and said oh my god what about the vlog why didn't you just upload the vlog then <laughs> seriously you've uploaded later than that before <laughs> why not just upload it I assume that the vlog was ready and edited because, you know, it was from about two weeks ago that you, you know, you've had about two weeks to, to edit it. So why not just upload it? Is this just another way for your excuses? Is it? <laughs> and we were both like, how did we forget? So. I'd have to second that, Sarah. How exactly did you forget? You know you spent the afternoon watching my video. Either you or Chris or both of you. Or you just sat round the table in the caravan whilst on holiday on Mila's first birthday watching a Dougal vlog. How sad is that? I mean, some people may think I'm being a bit sort of narcissistic, narcissistic about it. But... You know, you posted that picture, and this is really sick, by the way, Sarah. I'm sorry. It, even if you, it's as a hate thing, right? If it's to get at the haters or to respond to the haters or incite hate or whatever the fuck the reason was, you posted a picture of your baby on the bed in just her nappy and that was posted less than two hours after my video on the very subject of calling you out for posting clips of Mila in her nappy does that ring any bells Sarah does, does this even enter your head what the fuck you're doing in life right it's just sick that you did that but 
you also spent the afternoon doing that whilst it's Mila's birthday and yet you couldn't upload a vlog because you forgot it. What? I apologise. I keep seeing this in the background. <laughs> her in the background. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Um, I apologise. I think... I, I, think... I caught two whole onions without my eyes watering. Isabel's absolutely buzzing. She's cut onions without her eyes watering. But yeah, I think we're just going to upload on Monday instead of today. Comment down below, guys, who thinks that they're actually going to upload on Monday. Shall we start taking bets on this, shall we? Because, come on. Are you telling Prinny to go? Don't tell Prinny to go. Prinny's a good girl, are you, Prinny? Are you making sure that we know that Prinny's there? Are we making sure that Prinny's there? Are we? Are you trying to infer that Prinny's there with you? Is that what you're doing, is it, Sarah? Trolling, trolling, trolling. Um. Anyway, Isabel's back there cutting onions and she's absolutely buzzing because she's just... So let me get this straight. You actually forgot to upload a vlog to the people who have been waiting, the iFam, who have been waiting and waiting all day for your vlog, the very people that have paid for that holiday that you are on right now, in that caravan, they have paid for that caravan, they have paid for that holiday, and you have fucked them off by forgetting, forgetting they even exist. Well... Just well. She's got two onions without her eyes watering. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. I'm actually going to leave a poll at the end of this. So wait till the end of this. I want to know what the, the answers are. So Isabel had to play rock, paper, scissors with me to decide who was <laughs> to decide who was going to wash up a pan. So one pan. No, but don't try to scam us, bear in mind. He tried to trick us. No, he, he did say it's a surprise, whoever wins. But one will be a good surprise, one will be a bad. So kind of... But anyway, they had to go to the wash facilities here on the campsite where we are, which are like a minute away. They're like just there and wash up one pan that I cooked in earlier on today. So Isabel lost, as always. She never wins. And you just have to rub it into her, don't you? You just have to share it with the world that Isabel never wins. Don't worry, everybody. Isabel never wins. Isabel's stupid. Isabel's thick. Isabel just doesn't win anything. She's not very good at anything. Don't worry, everybody. She's not very good. Don't you know that she's not very good? She's not very good. Didn't, didn't you know that? Sarah, stop being a bitch, honestly. No, it's not a trick, it's just mind no, no, trick. It's just luck. It's just luck, mind trick. Anyway, Isabel. <laughs> she lost. So she had to wash up the pan from from this morning. However, she bargained with me. <laughs> She's like, Mum, please, you go do it, please. I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. I've got to chop the veg. I'm preparing dinner. I've got loads to do. She, please, please, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, I'll do the veg. You can, I'll do the veg. And I was like, are you crazy? It'll take me one minute to do the pan. And you have to do all the veg, just like onions, peppers, avocado. And I'm like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, go on then. And she, so she's chopping the veg. As bloody exciting as this story is, Sarah, why are you chopping the veg at what time is it now? You said it was quarter past eight when you realised the vlog hasn't gone up. So what are we? Half past eight, nearly nine o'clock, something like that. Why are you just starting to cook dinner? Most of your, your kids should be in bed soon. Jace sh certainly should be in bed. I don't know I'm saying should be just almost in bed. You know, I'm just saying that they should be going to bed, not just eating. Because once you've eaten, you then have to have some downtime to let it digest before you go to bed. It just. <laughs> and then I, Chris went to me, where are you going? I was like, I'm just going to go wash the pan. And Chris went, I'll do it. Pass me it. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. He started the bed. And he he started the the bed on the my phone started glitching, but basically Chris started the bet because he didn't want to do the washing up and he was going to make one of the girls go wash the pan. But then I Isabel asked for my job, 
So I got Isabelle. So then Chris went and washed the pan anyway, and I didn't have to do anything. And I got out of chopping all the veg. <laughs> I still have to do everything else. But anyway, yeah. What would you rather do? Would you rather spend one minute washing up one pan? Okay, yes, please. Sweet boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. You're Would you? A, no, yes. no, 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 not the keys. Not the keys. Not the keys. Would you rather wash up one pan, Thank or you. would you rather chop all the veg for a meal? Well, Sarah, I'm going to throw a spanner in your works here because I know that you're looking for validation on your point, but I would actually rather, uh, I'd rather chop the veg actually, because. Not everybody has your fear of work ethic. You know, chopping veg isn't really a taxing thing. It's kind of quite easy. You know, Isabel's just sat there and she's chopping veg. Why is, you know, <laughs> why all the hassle? What's the problem? Which would you rather do? Let me know. Okay, so to the untrained eye, that may, may have sounded like an absolutely mundane conversation to have with her camera. And for the most part, you're right. <laughs> but there was a method to her madness on this occasion, I feel. Firstly, she is trying to get engagement on her account. She wants people to comment and, and like and subscribe and follow and and do her stupid little poll. But it's all engagement and it shows in her analytics then and she she'll end up getting and this is what she wants, she wants to get ad deals and things like that, sponsored deals free trips, free holidays, and shit like that. This is basically what it's all about for her now. She's looking to take this on. Instagram is a more lucrative area of her influencer business because YouTube is shit. YouTube in itself pays nothing compared to what Instagram can pay for her if she did it right. And... That's why the lack of uploads on YouTube, and even when they do upload, it's boring, p pointless crap because they can't be asked anymore. That's why. That's what's happening there. She's trying to take it to Instagram and make it work for her. Unfortunately, things are never quite that straightforward, Sarah. I'm sorry. Because what? Um, there's always going to be people putting a spanner in your works. Just take a look at this. Who remembers the recent scandal surrounding the water bottles? I did a video on it. And we all sent letters and emails. And we did things, didn't we, to try and get the attention of the authorities who actually matter. Chris in her, her wisdom, <laughs> Chris in his wisdom, decided to take the link off the, the videos to his water bottles or their water bottles because he, he wanted to escape the wrath of the uh, Advertising Standards Authority, which, you know, may have worked. But... What he didn't do, and and he just refuses to. I don't know why, but the link to the or the the false company name that he's attached to to his business for some reason he didn't think that that was a big deal. Unfortunately, companies house disagree. So let's take a look at what they replied with. It says, Dear Customer, Fit Limited, that's F-I-T Limited, thank you for your email and supporting evidence. Having reviewed its contents, I am of the opinion that there is a breach of Section 1197 of the Companies Act. You are correct in, 
in that the above is not a registered limited company, I will contact the company highlighting this breach and instruct them to make the relevant changes. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Excellent stuff. So they are in breach of section 1197 of the Companies Act. Let's go and have a little gander at what that is because that's important. This is section 1197 and most of it is the important part here that we're looking at is this and it says a person guilty of an offence under this section is liable on the summary conviction to a fine not exceeding level three of the standard scale and for continued contravention a daily default fine not exceeding one tenth of level three on the standard scale so okay that that's basically saying that it's level three on the standard scale and um, for that we also need to take a look at the the next screenshot which is the standard fines level three offense one thousand pounds so this is a per person fine as well there will be fined one thousand pounds this is per person so that's two thousand pounds in total and a daily default fine, a daily default fine not exceeding one tenth of one thousand pounds, which is one hundred pounds. And that's per person, so that's two hundred pounds per day until they correct the the issue. So I'm assuming here that they will get a a warning to tell them to change it. If they don't change it, they'll get fined a thousand pounds each. And if they continue not to change it, then it'll be one hundred pounds per day each that they get fined until they do change it. And the funny thing with this is that Chris and Sarah, <laughs> you're away an awful lot. I assume that they're going to send it to your home address. Well, they'll probably send it to the accountants. And uh, you have to rely on the accountants being reliable <laughs> to send. But you, the point is, you're away a lot. You're not getting anything sorted out, are you? Because you're basically away every about how long. So you know, it's a tough old life, isn't it? It'd be funny to see now. If you change it, are you going to to bow to the haters, Chris? Or are you going to wait it out to see if you can get round the the, uh, the legalities of it? Anyway, good luck with that. I feel like you're going to need it. Everybody else, please have a wonderful day. Please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment all your comments down below because this is brilliant. And take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.